dear students today's talk is morphogenetic uh, movements the movements of cells from one place to another to bring about shape to the embryo is called morphogenetic movements during gestation the blastomeres move from one place to another the cells movements transform the blastula into gastrula this is also called gestulation as these movements lead to the formation of new shape to the embryo these movements are called morphogenetic movements morpho refers to form gent refers to reproduction production the morphogenetic movements occur during gestulation these movements transform the blastula into gastrula the movements of cells from one place to another is a common phenomenon in the embryos the movements are of two types they are epiboli and emboli as the name refers epiboli it refers to the movement of cells on the surface of the embryo epi refers to upper side only the word is derived from greek meaning throwing on or standing upon dactyloidal cells epidermoidum and the neurotoderm are involved in epiboli during gestation dactyloidum spreads out anteroposteriorly as well as laterally as a result the entire gastro is gradually covered by ectoderm the neurotoderm extends anteroposteriorly here you can say in this way it extends as a narrow strip of cells what is the emboli m refers to inside emboli refers to the movement of cells from the surface to the interior of the embryo this word is also derived from greek meaning throw in or thrust in for example the presentry endoderm mesoderm and the notochordal cells migrate into the interior of the embryo from the surface again these are of various types of embolic movements convergence involution very important point divergence invagination polyinvagination ingress and delamination concrescence infiltration constriction extension or elongation first of all we talk about the convergence it refers to the movement of cells towards a single point it means when they from different part of cells they move toward the single point an infection in frog the presentry endoderm mesoderm and notochordal cells located on the surface of the early gastrula migrate towards a single point that is the blastopore in chick and mammals the cells from the surface of the blastoderm move toward the pivot streak this is the involution it refers to the rolling rolling in of cells the cells located on the blastopore lip move toward the lip and are brought to the inner side of the lip divergence it is the antithesis of convergence in case of divergence the cells move in different directions from a single point the migration of inverted cells from the blastopore or pivot streak to the interior of the embryo is a good example they migrate in different directions from the blastopore or pivot streak in vagination it refers to the infoldings or in pushing or in sinking of a layer of cells into the blastocoel here you can say this is in pushing it forms a new cavity which is called the archentron its mouth is called the blastopore polyinvagination it resembles invagination but here the other layer invagates in many places you can see the layers invagate from many places in the cells a group of cells they are involved in this process it occurs during the formation of ectoderm formed by endoderm in amniotes ingression it also occurs in the embryo reptiles birds and mammals during this phenomenon into the cells a group of cells separate from the pivot streak and migrate into the space between epiblast and hypoblast the term ingression is synonymous to the polyinvagination when we talk about the delamination d refers to loss lamina refers to layer it refers to the separation of a layer of cells from another layer by spreading the separation of endodermal mesodermal and neurodermal cells from each other is a good example of delamination concrescence this refers to the migration of a group of cells towards each other until they meet and fuse together to form a single mass of tissue this process occurs during the development of feathers in birds it means the increase in the number of cells during gestation 
The cells from two sides migrate entirely along one axis. But in case of convergence, the cells from two sides unite together and then move entirely. Infiltration. It also occurs during the development of endoderm in amniotes. Individual cells detach themselves from the surface of the blastoderm and fall into the prime blastocele. Here they arrange themselves to form a layer of endoderm cells. This phenomenon is opposite to the convergence when involved cells diverge to take up the future positions inside the gastrula. During this process, cells of the blastoderm infiltrate near the bottom of the blastocele to form a second layer as seen in the gastrulation of check. You can see the extension or the elongation here in case of the neural plate and the notochordal cells. Dear all, I hope you all might have enjoyed the topic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.